but I knew I was dying though. The best states that cut hair is Florida, Texas, and Cali. I wasn't even about to drop track star first. I was about to drop another song. There's nobody more versatile than Wale. I seen young boys 60 beats a week. You're now watching Lena Blue TV. The passion just comes from me really enjoying it. It's a sense of relief to me. So if I don't get chills as I'm writing the song, I don't feel like it meant is is meant to be released. When you rap, you a fucking target with the police, with everybody. Cause niggas want clout. Niggas want you to mention them in the song. Niggas want to try to take your chain so they can wave it on Instagram, bring me $50,000, little whole shit like that. I think we all know what tragedy is, but when it hit home, it's a different feeling, you know? Retaliation doesn't bring them back. It just eliminates who you thought the problem was. That was one of the hardest things I had to do for myself was be able to make sure that people can understand me on all forms and not just do what they hear or what they think. So in order to put that out, you got to make sure that you're okay with the criticism and the critics or what's going to come behind it. Because definitely when you roll it out, you're going to have somebody that's going to call you bluff. My mission with music is to bring awareness, spread knowledge, spread love. Try to break generational curses, man. That's really what it's about. Only way you're gonna be successful is you desire to be successful. It's on you. It ain't on nobody else. You know, there's all type of things you can let people do for you, but you got yeah, you gotta know the shit for yourself. Educate yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like first. I'm gonna go my own way. I I feel like I'm gonna do what's the most logical. Like you say, I'm a problem solve with my mind. I'm gonna critically think. I'm trying to be an example that's like no other when it comes to where I came from versus where I'm gonna end up at. Cause you only get so long out here. But I knew I was dying though. Life flat for your ass for real. They think it's a game. Everything you did in your life, it come back to you. Keep your ears open, mouth closed, pay attention. And you can learn, you know, so it get to the point where nobody gotta tell you nothing. Cause it's easy, you can go and just listen to somebody and you can go and copy them. Cause they already laid down a platform. But to bring something originally from yourself, it's, 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 it's more of a challenge. Everything that success, you know, the lessons what I done learned, I wanted, I wanted to continue to pass that on the generation, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it to be something that we could celebrate. It's a lot of good game out here that just, just don't get. And you know what I'm saying? With it, it just seemed like hopelessness. It seemed like hopelessness. A lot of the kids out here, shit, man, these kids be growing up hopeless. I done seen it. I done instill hope in people. It take a village. We don't have to be on that ghetto hood rap stuff, you know, yeah. like where we have to play each other. Mm -hmm. We have to have each other's back. One of the biggest records I got with him is uh, Through the Storm. Turned up like a warning, we pulled up on that dumb shit. Flexing on these niggas pockets full of blue honey. I've had other records with him before that one, but that was just kind of the main one that really just caught people. Why the fuck am I giving someone the opportunity to control how I'm gonna live my motherfucking life? I got multiple sides of me, like you said earlier. With my artistry, I'm the same way. Yes, I'm a producer, I'm an artist, uh, entrepreneur. I got my own label. As an artist, I do do R&B, turn up records. I also do pop. Like Ryan Leslie said, he said, they try to put me in the box, it's impossible. Cause we could do more together. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to do something by yourself, mm -hmm. but with another person, you know, or more, or two other people, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it'll be easier mm -hmm. and you get more things done quicker too. My nigga saw before I did. I wasn't even about to drop track star first. I was about to drop another song. And I say people have a lot more access to information that only big labels did, which is why it's so competitive now also. So I'll watch YouTube videos and I would see these people saying people don't want to be spammed, but you have to say it a lot for them to remember you. So the way to do that is provide content that says what you want to say, but in a different way, with different images, different lights. There's that saying two heads is always better than one. You know, of course I can do a beat you know, by myself, but it's a lot better when you have somebody else with a whole nother set of ears because they might be hearing something that you're not hearing. I used to think making 10 beats in a day, I used to think like, damn, like I did a lot, but that ain't, that ain't nothing. Like I seen young boys 60 beats a week. So making 10 beats a day, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't gonna cut it. And then that's just young boy. You still got other artists you gotta worry about. You still got your, I still got my own, my own stuff I gotta worry about. So it's like, you gotta keep going. If you're gonna go buy a brick of coke, or you're gonna go buy an ounce of weed or a pound of weed or whatever you're gonna do, right? You take that same hustle you got in your mind and apply that shit to something like in real life and you could generate the same amount of money. Now you should sell drugs, shit, now I sell haircuts. And I ain't gotta worry about the cops coming to get me. A lot of times people put their fears on you to the point where you get fearful and you're like, dang, maybe I can't do it. I tell people all the time, man, don't, don't put your fears on me. 
you told me that I couldn't do something. You know how many people told me that I couldn't do music? Just stick to rapping, bro, because your beat's not good enough. Well, I got 54 plaques that's saying otherwise. Don't put your fears on me. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what you got going on. Don't, don't put that on me. Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic, you see their barbers over there, they probably charge less than we do, and they fire. So why is it? Do they take more pride in what they do? I guess it's like a kid that has a dream of being a football player. They're trying to get out. There's nobody more versatile than Wale, but he doesn't get love because he gets emotional every now and then. But y'all listen to Drake. He's an emotional ass nigga in the music. Most of us don't go see no therapist. Right. Even if we need to, when people really be having mental illnesses, we think 60,000 thoughts a day. You think you ain't think about wanting to go beat her ass? Or you think you ain't think about going to go shoot that nigga that did rob your cousin? But you think that thought that ain't gonna come to people? That sound crazy to some people who didn't go through those situations. Me, I'm an artist. So I was going through a lot of stuff and I was, I was thinking creative about how I was going to go about what I was going to do. The best states that cut hair is Florida, Texas, and Cali. Hands down. I like to see that match. I want to put my art out there. Music, media, all the way around the board. I want to be able to touch the messages, get to a specific platform to the point where it's, it's, a, it's a plus every time I'm coming. Consistent, like you can't get up and work one day, like non stop, and not keep that same energy, you know what I'm saying, throughout your career, whatever it is you're doing. If you're gonna work non stop one day, shit, do it every day. Why not? If you can do it one day, you can do it every day. Cause you're not a pretty shit you did it. We can't act like these niggas that aren't lyrical and all this aren't teaching us things at the end of the day. To me, third verses are should be rare. You shouldn't have a third verse on every fucking song. Like, why should your song be longer than three minutes? Let's try to be the solution that I wanna see. And that's really what it's about. Expansion. Your legacy.